So now once you are done with the first and second step, so first step is import the package, second step is load and register the driver. Now third step is to create a connection. Now to create a connection, we need to create a instance of connection interface. So we'll say connection con equal to. Now since connection is an interface, in order to create the object of connection, we need to use a class called the driver manager. Now driver manager has a method called as get connection. So this get connection method get returns you the object of connection. But this get connection will ask you for three parameters in MySQL for MySQL. So the second parameter is your username, which is root, and the third parameter is your password, which is zero. Now, what about the first parameter? Now, in the first parameter, you have to specify this connection string. So first, your Java code will be connected with JDBC, and JDBC will be connected with MySQL. And MySQL, if you work with MySQL, so normally MySQL databases belongs to a LAN network or a internet network. So you have to provide the machine address on which you have a database. But since on the same machine I have a database, what I can do is I can specify an IP address as localhost. And then we need to provide the port number. In fact, we have to provide this full socket address, so which is IP address and the port number. And the port number of MySQL is 3306. It can be 3307 or 3308, depending upon the type of installation you have done. But if your port number is by default 3306, so this part is optional. But still, for this example, we'll keep it there. So we'll say localhost colon 3306 slash, you have to provide it the database name now, which is data player. So this is the connection string you have to use. So it is JDBC colon MySQL colon double slash localhost colon 3306 slash data flare. Now once you're done with this step, now we need to create a statement. So to create a statement, we'll say statement st equal to. Now statement here is an interface. In order to create the object of statement, we need to use a connection object con. And in this con, you have a method called as create statement. Now create statement will give you the connection, uh, the statement object. We are missing something here. Whenever we talk about JDBC, we, have, we need to connect with MySQL, right? Or a database. For that, you need to fire a query. So first we'll create a query here. Now what I want is, I want to fetch all the values. So we can simply say it is uh, select star from student, it will fetch all the values. Now in order to execute that, what we'll do is we'll say st dot so there's a method called as execute, execute query. So you can see there's something called as execute query, which accepts a query. So we'll pass our query string here. Now this execute query will return you the instance or the object of result set. So we'll create result set rs equal to st.execute query. So this execute query will return you the result set. Now what this rs will have is, this RS will have the data in it. Example, if you go to MySQL, if you select, if you fire a query, select star from student, it will give you this table. The same table will be stored in this RS. Now, in order to traverse, now the problem is by default, the pointer of your RS will be somewhere here above your first record. So, before your first record, in order to shift between the records, we can use a method called as next. So now what next will do is, <coughs> next will check if there is a data after this. If there's a data, it will shift to the next record. Now once you say rs.next, it will shift your record to the first record of your table, which is Rahul here. And in order to fetch the data, which is Rahul, what we'll do is we'll say string sname equal to, now in order to fetch that data, we can say rs. In this rs, we have a method called as get string in which you need to specify the column name. And the column name we are using here is s name. So either you have to provide the column name or you can provide the column number. So both are supported here. Next, we require an integer. So we'll say integer roll number equal to rs dot. Now, since roll number is an integer, we can simply say it is as get integer and the column number is two. 
So now once you got the S name and roll number, let's print this value. So we'll say s out uh, system dot out dot print ln, and then we can say print s name plus we'll use a colon here and plus roll number. So what it will do, it will print the first record. So if I run this code now, so they say run as application. Okay, you can see we have we are getting the output as Rahul one. Now if you think we are missing the last two statement, which is or last one statement which is closing, so that part is optional. We should do it, but it is optional. Now how to close is we can simply say it is as uh, st dot close and we can say con dot close and let's run this code again so we'll say run as application so you can see the output is rahul colon one so this data is came from database but hold on i just want i don't want to print only one data i want to print all the data right for that we'll see that we'll see in the next part of the tutorial